Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So I got a little bit of an unboxing to do over here. And some of it is something I already unboxed and I already used, but uh, some of it is unboxed and haven't been used because I've been waiting for other parts. So for the Trooper guitar and the Live After Death guitar, I picked up some Dragonfire pickups. Now, the Trooper guitar, I only used one humbucker inside of there, and the humbuckers that I wanted to use inside of the Trooper guitar, I wanted to be able to do more with them instead of just having it as a plain humbucker. I wanted to be able to split it. I wanted to be able to do reverse polarity on it. Um, so I picked up a set of Dragon Fires. Now the guitar live after death, the one that I'm currently still working on, I wanted to be able to do the same thing with it and still have it. Uh, the artwork tied into it. So as you've seen on the Trooper guitar, I was able to tie in some of the artwork into the pickups and other parts as well. So the Live After Death one is going to be the same way. This one here is basically the same humbucker that I installed on the Trooper guitar, which is a black black metal cover so it's not like a chrome cover but it's solid there are no pull pieces here for adjustments or anything else like a normal humbucker would be uh, like you would see on Gibson or whatever and this is what I was looking for in order to have something that I could put something on top of this and not interfere with the pickup itself and how it functions so that's one of them these are the screamers now this one here is supposed to be a noiseless I don't know how noiseless it is, but it's supposed to be a noiseless uh, single coil, kind of like you would find in a Tele. And it also has the metal black cover on there with no pole pieces showing or anything else. Uh, again, I would be able to incorporate a little part of the artwork on top of this just to keep it looking the way I want it to look uh, without having a lot of clutter on the top of the guitar and breaking as far as different areas of the artwork having a break point in it and having too much of a break point in it to where it kind of disrupts the picture a little bit. So next we have something that I already unboxed because I wanted to check it out before I ended up uh, uh, putting it on what the next item that I need to put this on is. So what this is, is a well, kind of fun, it's a real tiny keyboard. And what this is going to be for is something else that's going to be very, very tiny as well. Uh, it has, it's a full keyboard, and here is your mouse pad over here. you got your numbers under and everything else, too. Uh, it works just like a regular keyboard. It is wireless. You are able to charge it. It comes with a little dongle over here for um, uh, Bluetooth to plug into your computer or whatever. And it, it's pretty well, pretty well compact. It's not very... Uh, not very big at all. I mean, everything is all tied into one here. So next up, and it's also USB rechargeable. You can either recharge it USB. It comes with an adapter on here to where you can extend the USB a little bit longer in case need to be. If I can get this to plug in, just like that. Next up, we have something that goes with Something that goes with that keyboard. Let me try to open this up a little bit. It's a mini PC. So the reason why I got this, okay? Well, I had my my TV, the 55-inch flat screen. Uh, I had a computer on that. Um, now the way I have things set up is that TV now is more of a home theater than anything else uh, in my family room compared to what it was just a gaming uh, TV with a computer on it. But if this works out the way I think it's gonna work out, I'm gonna end up getting another one of these with another small keyboard. But what I wanna do is since streaming on the internet has become a kind of a big thing for movies and stuff, um, which works out pretty good because I watch movies all the time, especially horror movies. Now. If this works out the way it's supposed to work out, two functions that this is going to have. Now, I can set one up and this up in the kitchen, or set another one up in the kitchen. I do all the cooking here. 
I look up everything on my phone as far as recipes goes to keep things different so we don't have the same thing every day or every other day or whatever during the week. So I look up a lot of stuff online. The phone is becoming a pain in the ass as far as looking up recipes because it has a timeout on the screen. Screen goes blank. When I come back to the phone, you know, I have to sit there and unlock it and do whatever with the phone in order to you know, look at what I was looking at as far as a recipe goes. This here I can put on the TV inside the kitchen and it'll be up all the time. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's got a factory seal on it. And I'm dropping shit over here. Yeah, I hate these, but I like these bottles and stuff, but I gotta find someplace else to put them. What I do is I save uh, rosewood dust. All right, so let's take a look at this little guy. And it's a little bit, it's about, looks, it's about like two cell phones put together side by side. And this is it, this is it. Now this right here, you could put a um, solid state drive inside here, which I got a few of them, which I'm gonna end up putting in. It's got it's kind of like a locking dock here. But it connects in for the extra hard drive, the extra space. Now I have to look up the specs on this because I'm not too sure of it. You got two USBs, three USBs here in front. You got two uh, threes and then uh, two. And then on the side of here, you got two HDMIs, another USB, your power in, your internet. You got a lock where you can put on there and you can also put uh, headphones or speakers on here. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a nice little, Nice little computer. Comes with everything. It's got mounting brackets, so we can mount this on anything that you want to mount it. You have your power, extra USB, or is this HDMI? This is HDMI. Yeah, it's got a small HDMI cable for hooking up to a monitor or a TV. And then your power supply, which is just nothing but a wall wart. So yeah, that's this little PC. It's got, uh, I believe it's got Windows 10 or Win 11 on here. It is an Intel product. It's not for gaming, you know, for anything like that, but it will work for what I want it to work for. So this will be connected sometime today. I kind of want to see, kind of want to see how it works. And, and I don't care about gaming with this. I don't care about how fast it is as far as for gaming. All I need it for is to go on the internet. I believe this does come with photo uh, editing tools and a few other little tools too, but this is what's going to go with that mini keyboard. Next, we have this box here. And this is a box in a box. So I do a lot of soldering, okay, and I've been using just a soldering and a basic soldering pencil. I like it, it works pretty good. I've haven't haven't had any troubles with it. The only problem with it is it's not adjustable for heat. Um, it doesn't have its own little docking station, and I'm not happy with uh, the tip as far as, you know, it wants to wear out because it's such a pointed tip on there. Tinning it up and everything else doesn't really help it, so I went and picked up a soldering station. So here's the pencil, nice rubber grip on it, removable as far as the whole tip goes, the whole assembly goes. Uh, here is the, it's very lightweight, very heavy at all. Here's the soldering station itself. Decent length of cable. You got about maybe uh, a little bit more than three foot. Adjustable heat with a display on off switch here. Uh, really nothing more to tell. This fits right into here. Let's see how it fits in there. And there's plastic. I don't want the plastic to be touching the tip or anything to get hot. Inside the box over here, we have some some accessories that this comes with. Uh, I believe this is a, another 
paper to stand. I have to look to see what that is. Comes with some fine wire solder, not a lot. Your power supply for power. Your pad for cleaning, which goes right into here. And extra tips, different sizes and different uh, angles and stuff. And again, you know, just regular power cord, nothing special. So yeah, this I'll end up finding a spot for it and trying to keep it in the counter over here to where I'm able to go to it when I need it instead of pulling it out of a drawer like I've been doing. And this I can get rid of all the other soldering guns that I have because I have, I'll tell you, I've got this one. And I've got this one. I've got this one and I got this one which I really haven't found a tip for it yet but I've got that one too and the other one that I have inside here is basically um, it's not a soldering gun but is my wood burning kit and that I'm not getting rid of. I love this thing it works really good it's been working for me really nicely so I'll probably keep one of the soldering pencils see as you can see the tip kind of went on this thing because I used this so much so it's been a little bit of a pain in the ass I can either buy another tip uh, or a bunch of tips um, but when these things get hot those tips get kind of flexible and they'll end up breaking so yeah this is my uh, my little unboxing here so I'll probably keep I gotta test this because this this we've had since I was no it was this one this is with the lights on. This is the one I had since I was a kid, um, and I used the piss out of it. I even had to make out of uh, uh, solid copper a tip for it that worked for a little while, but that was it. And this one here I have to test as well to see if this is still any good. I know these two still work, but this one gets a lot hotter than this one. This one, I'm, the wattage is like very low on this. This is like a... I think this is like a 30 watt. This one's a lot much, this one's much more. I can tell by the way it heats up and how it heats up. And you need little cheap ass fucking holders. So I'm gonna end up getting rid of some and uh, keeping some, but this will be my new working station for doing soldering. So that's my story, I'm sticking to it. And actually I'm kinda curious to see what that roller, what is that roller thing for? Does it show in here? Yeah, here we go. Oh, okay, that goes on the side. It's a, a spool for holding solder. So that's kind of cool. And I got my Amazon shit. It's all right, so that's about it. Now, I ordered this stuff on eBay, but it comes in Amazon boxes. I tell you, I need to get into a different line of racket over here because uh, I can do the same thing have a website where everything I, I order comes from Amazon and uh, uh, I don't have to keep stocking nothing, right? Right. All right, you guys take it easy. Have a good one, and I will catch up with you all later.